Previously on The Monkey Box. And pair you guys off in teams to do some writing. What do you mean pair us off? Brian is missing and I am concerned. You are going to get my script produced without any of Mick's testosterone-fueled changes. And I am going to swap this with whatever feminazi script she wrote. Swap it. And then I committed this small but forgivable felony. I had no idea what I would find. This is the saga of six people using the internet to kick down the doors to Hollywood. They are the monkey box. Okay, so I went over both of these scripts and Bob Williams, I'm sorry to say guys, this doesn't really make a lot of sense. Yeah, that's because I had nothing to do with writing that script. And Brandon helped them write it. Brandon, Williams, you were supposed to write that script with me. Uh -huh. Not only did I not help them write the script, I will have you know that I had nothing to do with Caroline's script either, and would not participate in such a hateful, racist, and anti-Semitic script, such as her script. Script. <laughs> yeah, um, Brando, what part of this Alice in Wonderland parody is racist, hateful, and or anti-Semitic? Alice in Wonderland? The bear dropped a dime on me in the script swap, didn't he? No, dipshit. When you swap out a script, you need to actually replace it with a new one, idiot. Damn it! Swap! Swap! Damn. Damn it! Fuck! Okay, so we're gonna do Caroline's script, and not just because Williams and whoever's script lacked a certain... Well, it sucked. But also because um, this is probably the best thing Caroline has ever written for us. It's really terrific. I don't say that lightly. It's really good work. Really? Yeah. So, Bob, can have you as the caterpillar, Brandon as the Mad Hatter, you as Tweedledee and Tweedledum, and then we'll put Brian in at... Yeah, and by the way, where the hell is Brian? Well, I'm glad someone is finally inquiring. I regret to say that Brian is no longer with us. He's dead? I get to play all romantic leading role parts. Bob, what? He's not dead. He's unavailable. When I finally got into Brian's residence, I was shocked to see it. It was in a state of complete disarray. Fearing foul play, I steadied myself with the nearest object I could wield as a weapon. Fortunately, that was not necessary. Oh, Brian. Apparently there was to be a, a reunion of the television show Punky Brewster. Brian was not invited to participate. So I did the only thing I could do considering the circumstances. I checked him into the Todd Bridges home for wayward child actors. I think it's going to be quite some time before we see young Brian Chase again. Ooh. Okay, so let's break for a little bit and we'll talk about props and costumes in a little while. I was serious up there. Um, this is really terrific. And if you keep producing like this for us, you're going to end up writing everything we do. Thanks. There was one or two things, though. Uh, there's a couple of lines here that you gave to the Caterpillar that I think really belong with the Mad Hatter. Can you give me a call later and we can talk about it? Okay. Okay, cool. Great work. Thanks. Wow. Way to uh, stand your ground and insist you make no testosterone fuel changes to your script. If you don't shut the fuck up, I'm gonna rip your asshole out and feed it to my kitty cats. Dipshit. On the next episode of The Monkey Box, ritualistic colon cleansing. I am so replacing myself with CGI. No!